Welcome to TEDx. Glad to have you here. Thank you. That's this, good. <laughs> this is our third lemonade theme talk. Two years ago, we had Lemonade Detroit, the movie. Last year, we had Sebastian's Lemonade. But your story, I think, outshines them all. Tell us why you're here today. Well, I'm here today because, well, I wanted to tell you guys about how I did the lemonade stand and about uh, and to ex inspire you guys about um, that you can do big things even though you're small. What was the problem you saw? The problem I saw here in Detroit was that we were really like closing out of business. So, so I wanted to do something before we like didn't exist anymore. That's why. So how did you come up with the idea of a lemonade stand? Well, I came up with the idea because I came, it came up from a book. It was about these kids who were raising money for their school to buy computers. So I just compared that to the city and wanted to help. So I, I think the most brilliant thing you did is you sold salty popcorn at the same time you were selling lemonade. That's a classic bar trick. <laughs> yes. So, so, <laughs> so any, anything besides popcorn and lemonade? Well, yes, I have fruit punch. <laughs> so, uh, so you put up the stand, you had a couple friends help you. How long did it take for people to really start noticing what you were doing? Five days. Five days. <laughs> My business plan needs a complete rewrite. <laughs> So tell me about some of the results. How many people came to see you? How much lemonade did you sell? I don't know how much people came because it was like over flooding with people. And I don't know how much lemonade, but I'm sure there was a lot of people who wanted lemonade, for sure. Now, were you making the lemonade or did you make your mom do all this? Uh, it was organic in a package. Organic lemonade? Oh, wow. Yeah. So, all right, so you, ha you have this big lemonade sale. How long did it go on for? Just five days. Just five days. And how much money did you raise? 3,000 plus. 3,000 plus. <laughs> so then what, what did you do with the money you raised? I gave it to the, to, sit, to the city. Did they want it right off the bat? Yes. <laughs> They probably did if they were broke. <laughs> so you originally raised the money to get the, the park around your house cut, the playground cut, yeah. and uh, one of our other speakers came to help you out. Who was that? Tom Nardone. He's a pretty good guy. So the mower gang comes out, cuts your lot. Yeah. So you don't need to, to pay the city to cut the grass anymore. Then what happened? Well, what happened was that it... I, it, what happened? It, they cut the grass, and it was and it was nice, and and now we can play in the parks better, so we won't have to like stump in the grass while we're and while we're like playing tag or something. And plus, you don't have to be looking like a linebacker while you're like playing football. <laughs> There's not as many places to hide though. You used to just be able to drop. Yeah. So, all right, so you've done this great thing for, for Detroit and your park and your neighborhood, and, and we're all big fans of you. What's next for you? What, what do you want to go to school for? What, what's next on your list? Well, what's next on my list is next year I'm going to be partnering up with Huntington Bank for their Entrepreneurs Program Lemonade Day. You are already plugging. This is amazing. <laughs> you have endorsement deals. Yes, and also... I want to have a good college degree. What would you like to study? Probably social, probably like science. I like science. Thank you. Well, we, again, we're all just really impressed with you, and thanks for sharing your story with us, and, and keep uh, fighting for the city of Detroit. We're right behind you. Thank you. Joshua Smith. <laughs>